It's time now for our Orange Panther of the Week, going back to the week after Thanksgiving for this one. So we're really going retro. It is Avery Miller who earned it for Orange Volleyball, and uh, I think her brother is going to go ahead and present it to you. That's right. Yes, that's right. That's back on November 30th, the week starting November 30th. And Avery, uh, what have you been doing since volleyball season wrapped up for Orange? Um, I've just been with my club team practicing and playing in tournaments. And okay. Stuff like that. And I've talked to various local volleyball players recently, and they've been going all over the place. They've been yeah. in Texas and Florida and Indianapolis in one case, Kansas yeah. City. Have you made similar rounds? Uh, yeah, I've gone a few different places, yeah, um, like Tennessee, Atlanta, places like that. Okay. Yeah, South Carolina. Who is your travel team, by the way? Um, AIM Volleyball. Yeah. Uh, Nancy Cates is our coach. Okay. And she's the like, owner of the organization. Okay. So you stay uh, up to date with them and basically keep going playing volleyball. So does the season ever really end for you? Um, not this year, no, not really. Because mm -hmm. no, our club season ends next week, and then we start back up for school ball in August, I believe. So I have... A little bit of a break, but not really, no. Yeah, it's a short turnaround. Yeah. When you think back to last year, uh, it was so strange playing games in front of no fans, but you still beat the defending state champions, too. Yeah. Have you ever thought about how weird that was? Yeah, it was definitely an experience, but, um, I mean, we got through it. We had a lot of struggles throughout the season, mm -hmm. but it's definitely very, very different than just felt like practices most of the time. Are you ready for something a little more organized? Yeah, yes, yes <laughs> uh, I'm very excited for the upcoming season. Do you know who you're going to play yet in non-conference play? Uh, I'm not sure yet in non-conference, no. Okay. I, don't, I don't know yet. But it is going to be different because um, overall I think it might be a better league because yeah. top to bottom, it, you know, in the Big 8, you, you knew who the bottom teams were and you knew who the top teams were. Yeah, this year I I really don't know what we're going to see. Mm -hmm. With so. Eastern now, I mean, it's coming in person typically and you've played person yeah yeah, so yeah we you, have yeah yeah so um have you what have you been doing uh, in terms of school outside of um volleyball here uh, as this pandemic has um i i went back in person for the last few weeks of school that we could go um instead of being virtual okay. but that was that was nice okay <laughs> Well, congratulations on this award. I know your father and your mother, both who went to Orange, and your brother here, who uh, is home from East Carolina, uh, all are very proud of you. And uh, getting re what, what do you think your senior year is going to be like? Are you ready to be a senior? I'm very ready to be a senior. It's <laughs> kind of crazy, but um, I hope this year is normal, somewhat normal. Yeah. So I'm excited. I can't imagine it being any more yeah. uh, bizarre as the past year has been. Well, Avery, congratulations, and it's great Thank to get you, you this award, and we'll talk to you again coming up in August. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>